Thank you. G'day. My name's Adam Hills. Welcome to a special countdown edition of Spicks and Specs, the music quiz show that acknowledges its musical roots. Our first team captain remembers when Rock was young. He and Susie had so much fun. He's actor and comedian Alan Bro. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Alan's first guest tonight is one of Australia's most respected singers, who is a member of the ARIA Hall of Fame and who once slapped Molly Meldrum on an episode of Countdown. Please welcome Renee Geyer. Alan's final team member is one of Australia's most respected saxophonists, who is a member of All 55 and JoJo Zepp and the Falcons, and once tackled Molly Meldrum on an episode of Countdown. <laughs> Please welcome Wilma Wilde. <laughs> Our second team captain every week remembers when she was young, the world had just begun and she was happy. She's Triple J's Miff Warhurst. <laughs> Miss first guest tonight is one of Australia's most respected music personalities who has been slapped on an episode of Countdown, tackled on an episode of Countdown, and appeared on almost every episode of Countdown. Please welcome Ian Molly Meldrum. <laughs> Miss final guest tonight is a comedian who watched Molly Meldrum being slapped and tackled on Countdown. Please welcome Mikey Robbins. <laughs> Now, Molly, we were expecting you to be back in the studio and having a few memories of the old countdown days. But even as the, the titles of Spicks and Specs were playing then, you said that you, you had a fact about Spicks and Specs being recorded. Yeah, I was writing for Ghosted at the time and had become good friends with, uh, with the Bee Gees. And I was in the studios when, uh, in fact, they recorded Spicks and Specs. So oh, there you go. That's fantastic. Yeah. So being back in the studio, what... what Very you, eerie. Is it weird? Yeah, I mean, it is. I mean, this, is, um, this was the countdown studio. Um, and basically this set here that we're on now was the main stage area as Willie played on and Renee played on and um, that was the main one there. The second stage here was over here um, and the, the humdrum set was over there sort of thing, That's you know. Right. So walking in is very, very weird. I can still hear voices. I seriously can hear voices. I can hear <laughs> Molly. basically oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear the voices. Oh my god, I, I swear I can. I can hear Michael Shrimpton, our executive producer, saying, What is that fool doing now? <laughs> and, and how can he be acting like that? He's drinking water and they go, oh. <laughs> I've got to say that I'm as nervous as hell. Molly, in my house, Sunday night was it. And there was two types of people when I was growing up. There was the Young Talent Time Watchers and the Countdown Watchers. And our family was Countdown. And it was, it was not to be missed every Sunday night. I used to get my little tape recorder and whack it up in front of the television, make all my brothers shush and record all the songs that I liked back in the day when you... you that's so... You, you have broken so many copyright laws. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> all right, let's start counting down with round one. Each team gets to pick a topic, everybody will be quizzed on it. Uh, your choices tonight are four years in the life of Countdown. 1975, 1979, 1983 and 1987. Uh, Miff, you've got Molly on your team, you can pick first. Would you guys mind if I went in the 80s? No, go for your life. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 1983. 83 it is. Uh, Alan? Well, I think we'll go as far away from that as we possibly can and go um, 1975. Beautiful. Beautiful year. Done. Uh, we'll start with 1983. Everyone on your buzzers. Let's play Spicks and Specs. Your first question for one point. Released in 1983, Burning Up was the first Australian hit. Madonna. For which artist? Madonna. Well done, Mick. One point. Nice. <laughs> which actually gave Madonna. Um, Madonna had never had a number one anywhere in the world, and Australia through Countdown gave her her first number one ever in the world. And it was actually with Holiday. Didn't you have a, a, almost a run-in while interviewing her the, around that the time? The first one, yeah. What the happened? first time. Um, basically what happened was I was over in, over in, uh, in New York to, uh, uh, with the record company Warners at the time. And so it was agreed that I'd do this interview with Madonna. I arrived very, very late and got ticked off, you know, how dare I. That I and I was then sort of pissed off myself because I thought, well, hold on, I was the one that asked for the interview. And I came out and said, well, who in the F is Madonna anyway, you know? And this little face came around and said, I'm 
if Madonna, who in the F are you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and then um, we started the interview and uh, I said, well, welcome to Australia via Countdown. She said, thank you. Uh, so I said, look, before I ask you anything else, I have to ask you this, who in the F are you? you know? And she just broke out laughing. <laughs> So we became the greatest of friends. Anytime you want, mate, ask the second question. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question worth two points. Three of the top 25 hits in Australia in 1983 had the word dance in the title. Name any two. Yes. Uh, Let's dance. Let's dance, David Bowie. Yeah. Safety yes. dance, men without hats. Safety dance, men without hats. The other one was Flash Dance, Flash What dance. a Feeling by Irene Cara. Oh, well, uh, done. Good point. Well done. <laughs> You know your 80s, Miff. Colin Hay tells a lovely story about being asked for a request in a club in Edinburgh where a woman's come up and said, do you know safety dance? And he says, oh, now look, that's men without hats. I'm, I'm men at work. And she says, oh, right, right. Do you know safety dance? <laughs> <laughs> Finally, for three points. Have a look at this vision from Countdown in 1983. I need the name of the band, the song, and the album it originally appeared on. It's Cattle and Cain. It's the Go Betweens. And the record was. Was it the self titled Go Betweens? No, God, it wasn't. Uh, is it Lee no, Remix? No, it's not. Right. You've got the Go Betweens, you've got Cattle and Cain. Does anyone on this side it's know the name? Has it got something to do with memories? 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 The album memories, but... was before Hollywood. Oh, of course it was. Right, we'll move straight on to 1975. Oh, for one point. John Farrah and Olivia Newton-John won the Grammy Award. Yes? For physical. No. 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 Oh, for later. No, no, no. Record the of the year for know. which song in 1975? I'll let you have a shot at it. I Honestly Love You? Yes. Oh, oh well done. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Yes, well done. Gosh, I hope you were just answering the question then, because the, the chemistry between you two was amazing. <laughs> this is the highlight of my life. I'm holding hands with Molly. Oh, <laughs> and then a bell goes off. <laughs> For two points, this is footage from Countdown in 1975. Name the song and the Gibb brother performing it. Andy Gibb, and it's um, that one, that Andy Gibb song. <laughs> he was the Gibb I didn't quite... Take two. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to think. Um, I honestly sorry. love you. No, his no. brother wrote it. <laughs> no, I'm no, telling you. His artists. brother wrote it. It was massive. Number one. Um, give us a clue. <laughs> <laughs> it was words and music. Words and music, uh, yes. That was the song. That was the clue as well. And Randy oh, wrote it too. He wrote it. He wrote it as well? Yes, he did. Oh, did he? <laughs> three points on the line for your final question. <laughs> These are the three top singles of 1975. Name all three artists. How can I resist? Oh, hang on, these guys got in. I don't care, I know them. <laughs> yes. Fox on the Run, sweet. Yep. The ABBA thing was uh, at the ABBA thing. Yep. Uh, and the other one, I can't, I forgot the Sun. Uh, uh, January, it's some. Uh, uh, sun. No, 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 we got it. Sunday. No. Sun. No. Sun. No. Sun. No. Sun. No. 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 Pilot. Watch this. No. Oh, oh, pilot. 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 from Sunday to pilot. I knew it would lead me somewhere. <laughs> hat. I was watching his hat. Renee, what were, what were your memories of Countdown? What was it like wandering up and down the corridor? Because the corridors outside here haven't changed, I'm guessing. Well, there's always, there was like three or four bands or solo, solo artists. There was always one overseas act and everybody was almost certainly hungover. <laughs> and then through the day you kind of came to life and it was uh, remarkable times that you, in retrospect, just Wish yeah, that they basically, could come back basically again. when you talk about the hallway, I love it as when the, as you come into the studio, there's still the grey tiles. It looks very nice up the hallway, and then it comes back into those grey tiles. Yeah. You know? So I don't ever get rid of them. Mm. No, <laughs> I, you know what? I don't think the ABC had any intention of getting rid of them. Uh, I believe though that the government will put ads on those tiles very soon. <laughs> Molly, Mikey are on four points. Alan, Renee, Wilbur in front, six points. Right. <laughs> Round two is called Please, Please Tell Me Now. Both teams will be shown part of a film clip. You will then have to answer questions about that clip. Now, your clip tonight is from the song Horror Movie, as performed on Countdown by Skyhooks. Both teams, watch carefully. There will be a test afterwards. It's about the Oh, 
the special effects. Cutting age stuff. All right, your first question. How many freeze frame poses were there? Yeah, four. Four? Let's have a look. One, two, three, four, five! Oh. I'm afraid not. Second question. What is the name of the electronic game? Yes? Air Fighter. Let's check. Yes, it was Air Fighter. Well done. According to the lyrics, it's bound to be a chiller, a thriller, and a what? It'd be a killer, wouldn't it? Uh, let's listen. Well done, Mikey. First album I ever bought. How many yellow Dodgem cars were there? Two or three? Two. Two? Molly, let's look. One. One. Two. 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 Oh. Nice work, Molly. Oh. Well done. Final question. Who is upside down in the spinning cylinder? Uh, it was the wiggle and the blue skitty. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was it Cheryl? Was it Cheryl? No. 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 Freddie. Let's have a look. It's Cheryl. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. It is two. Actually, that's interesting, um, that whole uh, <laughs> horror movie because there was an absolute set rule set when we first started Countdown. There was to be no miming. No. Right. Uh, l l I mean, right. live vocals, you know, obviously to a backing track if you wanted to, right. right? But the excuses that would come up from mm. Daryl Braithwaite, John Paul Young, all could sing, belt out a song. I don't know if you ever did it, Renee. I never um, mind. Bon Scott. Sometimes I They would mind. come up with the most mm. extraordinary excuses why they could not sing that morning, right? Now, that was OK, um, but then some of them were atrocious mimers, right? <laughs> so, if you ever thought that maybe Countdown overused the smoke... <laughs> if, if, if it looked as if they were bad mimers, we just smoked them. Especially in their face, so you could not see their lips be sort of like, you know? At the end of that round, the scores are Miff, Molly, Mikey on six points, Alan, Renee, Wilbur just in front, seven points! One member of each team has to sing well-known songs using the words of an unrelated book. Your teammates have to name the songs. Okay. Renee, you'll be yes. singing for Alan and Wilbur, and you'll be substituting oh. your lyrics from Countdown the Wonder Years, 1974 to 1987. Oh. That's your book. Why, well, I'm Those shocked. are your songs. Don't show your teammates. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, Renee Geyer. Thank you. Thank you. Sing it like you lived at Rainy. Song one, please, Renee. Okay. Iggy Pop was not especially well known to most of the crew. And when he turned up to do his rehearsal of Chairman of the Board, seemed innocuous. It was the greatest TV moment of them all. I love that. Stop yeah. in the Name of Love. That's it is Stop in the Name of Love by the Supremes. Well done. <laughs> Song two, please, Renee. Countdown's audience was broad but heavily skewed towards adolescent girls looking for their Heathcliff. Each part generation Threw up these hot throbs. No, 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 It was Smile, written by Charlie Chaplin, made famous by Nat King Cole. Beautiful song. Okay, the final song. Australia reflected the trend. Renee Gayer was pretty much for it for females in rock and blues. Olivia was huge in Australia as a pop vocalist despite being based in the US. Marsha Hines dominated 
as Queen of Pop. Say I love you. Yeah. And Say I Love You by Renee Gaia. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Renee Gaia. That was fantastic. Of course, Renee, there is the big countdown spectacular going back out on the road, mm -hmm. uh, reuniting all of the countdown stars. Renee, uh, Wilbur, you're performing in this? Certainly am. First date, I think, is uh, the 30th of August. Mm -hmm. There's about 30 acts huh? going out. Brisbane's yep. the last one. <laughs> How many coming back? Well, that's, <laughs> that's a thing too. You know. Right. Yes. Molly, you'll be singing for Miff and Mikey, um, <laughs> and you'll be taking your lyrics from Excess All Areas, a who's who of rock depravity. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and before we go, can we, do I think we need to see this photo on the back, don't oh, we? Oh, that's brilliant. Aussie. Aussie. That's... Pumping out a new album. <laughs> 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 so there's your songs. That's your Good book. Don't you show your teammates. Ladies and gentlemen, Molly Meldrow. Yay. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> uh, Molly, have you, have you had to sing anywhere much? No, thank God. <laughs> so I hope you recognise this. Here we go. Sonny Bono, while carrying Almond's baby. She had a file for divorce, though she hung about the next two years. Mm. While Greg attempted to kick both drugs. Stop at the name of love? I'm no. <laughs> that's, that's a request. <laughs> just stop. Please. Scooter John Herring. She had a file divorce. Sonny Bono, while carrying She'll fight for divorce again. <laughs> Something in the air. Lots in the air. Yes! Can we accept that? Yes! <laughs> yes, it's love is in the air, John Paul Young. <laughs> Song two, please, Molly. Oh. All right. <laughs> he was Michael Alp abroad. It sounds like the last same time. So Bill has since found himself. No, it's not the same. <laughs> He was an Englishman. He was a. He wasn't a queen. Oh, really? <laughs> he was a. King. He was my dancing. Pretty sure it's Dancing Queen. Yes! <laughs> what are you reading or are you singing? What are you doing? I'm doing both, you and I. You know what? It's Molly Meldrum. You can do whatever you want. That's a point. <laughs> Final song, please, yeah. Molly. Cartoon figure of Skull Rock. Mm -hmm. His initial show is featured. <laughs> that might well have been kicked. <laughs> the star of the show. I'm going with a, a Gregorian chant for a Strictly how we play the game, but when we're under your roof, we live by your rules. Uh, well, didn't you recognise Dancing Queen? Oh, don't, don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what to say, Molly. <laughs> what mean, didn't you recognise the dancing or the Queen? <laughs> Look, we've been going through the uh, the records here, ah. the tapes of Countdown, and there was one episode, the 100th. Uh, episode of Countdown. Mm. For those of you who, who may not remember this or have even seen it, this is how Molly started the 100th episode of Countdown. Thank you very much. Now, from the Australian end on the 100th Countdown, we've got Supernaut, LRB, Daryl Braithwaite, Renee Geyer, John Paul Young, All55, TMG and Mark Holden. That was a pretty good start to the show. Absolutely. Must have been fairly happy with that. Very happy with that. Excellent. Uh, 20 minutes later, <laughs> probably celebrated a little bit in the meantime, maybe. Right. Have a few drinks of water. <laughs> and uh, here's some highlights of what happened 20 minutes later. <laughs> Let's go down into the countdown audience. Yeah. There you go. Go and meet the people. Right, now, listen. No, 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 step down. Come on. 
Hold on, hold on. <laughs> now, this is the countdown audience. This is the one I say, shush, shush, shush to. This is the one, where are we? Where are we? Oh, here we are. <laughs> Ian's on the Zoom. Oh, <laughs> Ian's on the Zoom. And... <laughs> Well, Leo, I think so I'm guessing then, Molly, you know, a little bit more time passed, <laughs> maybe a few more glasses of water. <laughs> Is there more? There's more. Oh. <laughs> right. That was some of the acts that have appeared over Countdown over the last two years. Fine acts. One of the finest acts we've ever received is John Paul Young. He <laughs> came with yesterday's hero. Let's see John Paul yeah. Young. This is great. This is this is you presenting John Paul Young with an award, and just wait for the end of it when he has to do your job for you. The hero. No, it's not the hero. It is. It is the hero. Come on. Keep an eye on this, though. Thank you very much. Elton John interview, mate. You want to do that? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we'll do And then back to this. All right. Now, Sherman, what does that mean to you? Oh, God. And what was the loveliest part of all of that is this is how the show ended. Oh, God. Right. Oh, God. What a night it's been. Listen, um, Ian, Ian Meldrum has been exhausted, John. He is <laughs> He's had enough, Ian, and he's gone. So, uh, and he said to say thanks to everyone for coming. <laughs> <in. laughs> Molly Meldrum, everyone. <laughs> you know, I'm looking down at this buzzer. It's got, got a 45 on it, right? Mm -hmm. Parlophone. And it's by the Beatles. The song's called I Should Have Known Better. <laughs> and seriously, thinking about what you've just shown, I should have known better than to come on this show. <laughs> <laughs> After that round, the scores are Miff, Molly, Mikey on nine points, Alan, Renee, Wilbur also on nine points. Oh. All right, it's time for the final countdown. Ooh. Teams, hands on your buzzers. One point for a correct answer, one point off for a wrong answer. Your questions start now. Name the Oz Rockers responsible for the anthem. Am I ever going to see your... The Angels. Bang on the money. On Countdown, how did Gavin Wood sign off every week? Good night, Australia. Good night, Good night Australia, Australia is exactly what I was well looking for. In what year did Countdown first air in colour in Australia? I bet you've got 75 there, is it? Yes. Well, it's wrong. <laughs> no. Get him off! It is wrong. Hello. No, I'll tell you why, no, tell you why it's wrong. Um, Countdown actually aired in colour in 74 of those first eight shows, because we're one of the, the, the shows that are allowed to, to air in colour. Well, so we've that got is the definitely countdown wrong. book here. Oh, come on, are you going to believe the book or the man? <laughs> I'm going to believe the man! Yeah. Excuse me, the book doesn't drink. <laughs> <laughs> uh, our researchers upstairs have just checked, and apparently, Molly, you were right. It was 1974. Oh, well done. <laughs> have a listen to this. Tell me the name of the song. Oh. Pump It Up. Yes, it was Pump It Up by Elvis Costello. Lay Your Love On Me was a number one hit. Racy. Racy. It was racy. Well done, a point for that. According to a song by The Police, giant steps are what you take... Walking on the moon. When you're walking on the moon. Well done. For your final, final countdown... Oh. When was the final countdown aired? OK, it was in July 1987, and it was July... Ooh, 17th... You know what? All I needed was the month and the year. It was July 1987. Well done, Molly! <laughs> At the end of the show, the final scores were Alan, Renee, Wilbur ended up on 11 points. Miff, Molly, Mikey won the day by a point with 12. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Would you please thank all our guests for tonight? Renee Geyer, Wilbur Wilde, Molly Meldrum and Mikey Robbins. <laughs> and of course our two team captains, Alan Bro and Mick Warhurst. Hey. Don't forget to check out the Spicks and Specs website, but we leave you tonight with a forgotten piece of Countdown history. It's a clip filmed at the VFL Grand Final in 1979 and features Molly, Wilbur, Joe Camilleri, Daryl Cotton, Jimmy Barnes, Shirley Strawn, John English and a whole host of pop music stars of the day playing their own game of footy. Wilbur, memories of that day? Wet, 
tight shorts because I'd left mine at home and had to borrow Daryl Cotton's. Mm -hmm. And uh, we came back here and watched the game because we couldn't even stay because we had to come back and rehearse. And Molly, by the end of it, I think you were covered in mud. I was covered in mud and unfortunately when I went for a goal, I went back, I, I slipped over. <laughs> I think when you'll see the clip, you'll find that pretty much everyone that went for a goal slipped over on that particular oh, day. Really? Thanks for watching Spicks and Specs. My name's Adam Hills. Good night, Australia. That's Joel Cotton. There's Molly on the right, Shirley Strong. Yeah. Is that Barnsey? John English. John English. Joe Camilleri. There's Joey. Are you kidding? Now there's a lot more things to football than really meets the eye. I'd stayed on the ground, I would have got a kick. <laughs>